Hey guys, it's Noveda. Welcome back to my channel. It has been such a long time since I sat down in front of you guys and filmed something. Even the what I eat in a day video that I put up um, hopefully a little bit ago is it's been pending for so long and I just wasn't able to edit it and actually put it up. Um, kind of been busy, but most importantly, I actually got into an accident and I was walking and a car hit me. So it was like pedestrian, I got hit by a car and um, nothing serious at all happened, like no permanent injuries or anything like that. But I did have a lot of cuts and bruises and like the area of impact was really, really sore, whiplash. So basically I was out for like a good week. I was just bumming around, I couldn't really move, I was on meds. So I wasn't able to film and I even wasn't able to edit, which is why everything's been so late. But I'm finally back, everything's been good, I got really, really lucky. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what's been going on, why I've been kind of MIA. But thank you so much for still commenting on all my videos and liking my Instagram posts and kind of just still being there even though I'm not. But I'm back and I'm really happy that I was able to film this. This is kind of like a little soft crease cut eye look. And I did my hair on camera even though it's really just nothing, just like really slight waves. But it was an easy look, super easy to do. And if you guys want to see how I did it, please just keep watching. So I'm starting off with wet hair and I'm going to be using my Waffle Lux Hair Turban. This is by the company Aki and they're actually at Sephora. So this thing is really cool. It's basically supposed to really help to dry your hair without sucking out all of the moisture out of it, which like a normal towel would do. So it helps prevent breakage and helps control frizz. So what you do is you basically tuck your hair into like the open part of this towel and then roll it up. And then there is a button and a loop attachment that kind of go together. So it really helps it stay like really fit and snug on your head. Super comfortable. And like I said, it like dries your hair to like the perfect amount of dryness that it should be. Then I'm starting off my makeup. So I'm using a primer from Arbonne Cosmetics. This is like a vegan cruelty free brand that I mentioned in a previous video. Then I'm color correcting, starting with my orange collector first to hide all the darkness. I was super stressed because of everything that happened. So my darkness underneath my eyes is pretty pronounced so using orange to hide all of the darkness which I have some other spots around my face and then I'm gonna go on top with the green concealer to cover up any redness and then blend that all out with my finger for foundation I'm using the born this way foundation by Too Faced this is my favorite foundation you guys know this already and I'm just applying this to my face and then blending it in with my beauty blender For concealer, I'm using the NYX HD Concealer Wand, and this is going underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, chin, and also along my contour line. And then I'm going to be blending this out with a foundation brush. I do have a full concealer routine, which I will link in the description box down below, so definitely check that out. I'm going to be setting my concealer with my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. This is a yellow toned powder, which is slightly darker than the Ben Nye banana powder so it's really great for my skin tone and darker skin tones so if you don't have this I definitely recommend it. For bronzer I'm using the Trustique bronzer stick. This is so amazing it has easily become my new favorite product. So it's basically just yet another bronzer stick but the formula of it is so smooth so easy to use so easy to blend and the packaging is super cute. It basically comes in like a magnetic seal cap so it's very easy to kind of just throw in your bag and then it has a brush on the end of it which is so kind of like a one-step process to doing your makeup so the brush itself is like very dense and it really blends out the product properly without causing any streaking or anything like that my only problem is that this color is a little too light for me this is what they sent me and it works as like a natural all-day look but definitely I have to go over it with something else. So this is me using my Sephora bronzer in the shade Bora Bora and just kind of darkening up the contour. Moving on to my eyebrows, I'm using the ColourPop eyebrow pencil in the shade Bang & Brunette and I'm just showing one eyebrow, I do the other one off camera. And I'm just going to be cleaning up the brow using my Maybelline eye concealer. So now that my setting powder, the Sasha Buttercup powder has set, I'm then going to bake it. So I'm using the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and just letting this sit on my face while I do my eyes. So I'm starting off with this shade Charmer and using this as my brow bone highlight. And then I'm going to use the shade Flower Child and use this to basically apply all over my lid. 
I had actually started my makeup on that eye before I filmed, so I'm just trying to cover that up. And it also provides a good base. Then I'm using the shade Smarty Pants, I think it is, and I'm applying this straight into my crease. So really defining the crease, going back and forth in like a windshield wiper motion. Then taking a lip brush, I'm dipping this in the shade Rebel and applying it directly into my crease. So looking forward, I'm basically putting the lip brush straight into my crease to get that soft crease cut look. If you wanted a more defined, strong crease cut, you would go a little bit above your crease so that it, it actually like, is like shown more. But for this, I'm just kind of going back and forth right in the crease. And then I'm going to be applying the shade Flower Child back on top of that. And this is where you get to really define that crease cut look by going as close as you can to the crease so that it looks like it's more of like a line there. Then to make the whole eye just much easier to work with, I'm blending out that crease so it's more of like a softer look and not a focused crease cut. After I've made some finishing touches to my eyes, I'm just going to go in with a winged eyeliner and for this I'm using the NYX Matte Liner. Then I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Blush Brush and wiping off all of that Bare Minerals Mineral Veil that has been baking on my face. Then I'm going in with blush. This is from the Body Shop, I think. And I don't remember the shade, but it will be down in the description box below. For falsies, I'm using the Slayla Lashes by Flutter Lashes. These are so dramatic, so they're definitely not an everyday look, but they are so amazing and so beautiful. I am now smoking out my lower lash line using two shades. So I'm using both Flower Child and Smarty Pants. And then I actually went in with Rebel on top of that to give more of like a dark dimension. Going back in with the NYX Over the Taupe eyeshadow just to make the contour a little bit more, I guess, like defined. And then I go into lips. So I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade, gosh, I don't know what shade it is. But basically, I tried this and it was just too pink for the eye look. It made the eye look look really red and I didn't like that. So I kind of just took that off and went for ColourPop Bumble which is a liquid lipstick, and this just seemed to kind of pull in the look and make it fit a lot better. After that, I'm using highlight. I didn't actually film the product, but I'm using Champagne Pop, as always. This is just going on at the highest points of my cheese, down the bridge of my nose, and then a little bit on my forehead and chin, and I'm pretty sure I just said cheese instead of cheeks. Then I'm gonna move on to my hair. So it looks like my hair is still kind of wet in this and it's not the towel really did take a good amount of moisture out of it. It's mainly because I did like a oil mask prior to washing it so it's really, really shiny. Then I'm going in with some heat protectant spray, really incorporating that into my hair and then I'm gonna blow dry it. So this is the Pro Beauty Tools blow dryer. You can get this at like Target or Walmart. So. It's a really, really good quality blow dryer for an affordable price. I think it's like $40 or something. And I just took the attachment off and I'm just doing like a general blow dry over my hair. And then I'll section it off and do more of like a focus dry. So for this, I don't use like a round brush and really try to straighten it out only because I'm gonna go over it with a straightener anyway. So I don't wanna focus too much heat with just the blow dryer. So I'm just doing a very like casual drying with, the, with my fingers basically. After it is dry, I'm going to go in with my straightener and basically just curl my hair. It's not really curling, I'm actually just putting some subtle waves into it to give it more of like a defined dimension and texture so that it doesn't just look very flat. So I'm doing that all along my hair. If you guys want a more, I guess, like in-depth tutorial on how I curl my hair or just how I style my hair, definitely leave it in the comments below and I will be sure to do that. But that is basically the finished look. It was super easy to do, so if you replicate it, definitely let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you're always commenting and liking. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can see more of my videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Don't be